And I can now... Equip you with sonar. So you have sub-detection. And I can also upgrade... Whoops. Your... Hang on. That's sonar. That's radar. To give you more surface detection. I can upgrade your engines. I can upgrade your torpedo. AA is already up. Light battery. Depth charges. Depth charges. Too expensive. Right, so the real thing is I want you to have sonar. That's the big deal. And I want you to have radar. That's 22. I want you to have a bigger engine. 28. Gun, I don't actually care about. AA. I want you to have better AA. 34. I can do like two more modules. Let's give you better. Nope. The anti-sub is where the cost comes in. Forty-six. That's all I can afford, right? Should probably have renamed that. Bingo. Right, so apparently, if you... Double click, you select all, then you hold down shift and press upgrade, it will upgrade all 43 to that. Okay. And now those are all refitting. <laughs> yep, there they all are. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do here is set these to build one. And we've got a lot of refitting to do here. That's fine. We've now got some 40-odd genuinely useful ships coming in. Also, why am I not producing planes? I am producing planes. Why am I suddenly getting a massive boost of rubber? I'm cool with it, but where'd that come from? Need more aluminium. That can be arranged. Get one more. Oh, good grief, and my oil's just disappeared too. Gaining four, using 5.7. Still like two more. 5.1. 6.2. Now we're generating. Apparently upgrading engines takes ages to rebuild. I think I'd hit reset and start again. Nah. It's fine. Good to know for the future. Although 25 days times 43. Is a thousand days. It's three years. So the last one will roll off in 43. That's if I did them each individually, so it'd be about a year. Ah, we're fine. It takes a year. I'm, I'm okay with that. Especially as I am building more naval yards as we go. Right, and I did notice that the French were counter-attacking here, like, madly. So we totally should be counter-attacking too. Let's set you guys up to do that. Let's have you take Benghazi. With the exception of the cavalry, you can go here. 
And we're going to let the French deal with this, because, yeah, the French are doing a really good job. How's Ethiopia doing? Oh, wow, we are crushing Ethiopia too. Excellent. How am I... motorized? They're still alive! And once they're out of here, I'm going to say they're out of the really dangerous bit. Danish leader in exile. Right, we need to see what Sapolowski and the Danish dude are like. Oh no, it was Kowalski, wasn't it? Kowalski is another naval invader. Attack 4. Attack 4 naval invader. He's a good marine commander. Was he the one we had before, though? Yes, he was, wasn't he? And then we had the Danish dude. Volk we already had. Sven Hav. Sven is a cavalry officer who is a trickster, so he is a good cavalry, like legit good cavalry commander. Alright, so motorized are being prepared. So let's drop you there. Let those deploy. Start a new army. Add them to the home guard. You lot are going to be... The training group. And... They're going to be fortifying London, because they actually have to have an order in order for this to then feed into that. Same with you. Same with you. Alright, so all of my new divisions will feed into that one and they will start training. I'm then going to have a fairly sizable motorized group to use. And actually, speaking of motorized, how am I doing? I've got plenty in reserve. How am I doing for tanks? Okay, tanks I'm a bit short on. So we could probably do with investing a little bit more on that. We are absolutely blazing through this production. This is really good. Industrial England is mighty England. What? Africa is done, but where's the fun? Where's the Tigers? Where's the Battle of El Alamein? That's all going to be happening in England. Because I'm really hoping that the AI has wisened to the fact that the Mediterranean is just full of British submarines. So have stopped trying to cross. But we haven't killed many convoys recently, so I suspect that is exactly what they've done. And they're probably... oh dear, that's not good. Uh, preparing for an invasion of the Soviet Union too. Um, right. With that threat having been identified, we are going to request some more forces from you. I'm going to go for another 10. I'm going to say all of those are to be assigned to this line. That's all 20. And then your line is going to have to expand to encompass that. So we can hold against the Japanese there. Oh great, but also not terrible actually. What's the combat with? 20. That's actually a really good template. Well done, India. Well done. AI is learning good template design. Particularly if they went superior firepower. In fact, their infantry units are probably better than mine. That that's impressive. Yes, I am allied to Japan, or was that the Polish game? That was the Polish game. Tibet's neutral, yeah. Fuel situation is we are currently positive. We'll be at full fuel in 80 days. Uh, how are we doing for planes? Still behind, but that deficit is not growing. My efficiency in building Spitfires is only going to be going up. Right, we can bring Brook in. Finally, plus 15% division speed. Yes, please. Submarine. You 
didn't upgrade. You stopped. Well, that's going to let me remove your engine, but why'd you stop? Sussex got bombed, it's possible. Where does Britain get fuel? Yeah, we buy it. America has loads of oil. Ooh, four submarines lost. That was a bad exchange. How are my submarines doing? Suffering. All four of my submarine uh, task forces used to have ten subs. One of them is down to four. Bombers operational in here. Yeah, these guys are struggling, I think. Getting a ton of experience, but struggling. I really just need more aeroplanes. Like, Germany's done a really good job, actually, of countering our aircraft production. Nine factories building Spitfires, and we are struggling to keep up with losses. 39 factories. So, Indian declared war on Finland, so there's the uh, winter war. Moose, just in time for the winter war. How are you doing, buddy? And thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to Moose's followers. I think that we want some more aluminium. The Dutch don't have any more for me. Fine, we'll buy it from the Americanos. Very Fulmar. Oh, that's the carrier plane, isn't it? Cool, so let's upgrade that. Which would then suggest that I need to upgrade the naval bomber. Because I am using carriers. This is something I'm not used to having to do. Oh wow, we sank a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser. Well done. Well done, chaps. Well done indeed. You know what? The other thing I want to do... Maybe. Let's see if those American ships are actually being upgraded, first of all. Yeah, they are still in the queue. And we have not actually started work on them. Let's delete you. You've got nothing done on you. It's because 18 dockyards are currently being used for repairs. Eesh. Derna. Where is Derna? Alright, so I feel like the Yorkshire... Naval base could do with a little bit of an upgrade. Let's get you to level 8. And then Derner, I'm going to guess, is this one. Mr. Brook. Where's 
Moderna. Oh, it is Tbrook. Then, yeah, Tbrook's uh, uh, base needs to be upgraded too. Because you're basically repairing the whole of the Mediterranean fleet right now. And Italy is still trying to put up a bit of a fight. It's a losing battle for them, but they're trying. Harold Alexander wounded. In bringing the battle to a successful conclusion, it seems General Harold Alexander put himself into danger. That would be you, wouldn't it? That's too bad. You're very good at your job. So, I'm going to bring in... You got a lot of stats from that work. Uh, uh, William Slim. William Slim. Ooh, crikey, you've almost actually finished. Hell yeah. And to Brooke. Shouldn't last for much longer, although the Spanish troops are doing a rather good job. Just lend this over, that's fine. Right, so we just got British austerity, so the Tory party is officially in charge. Uh, Commando, Genius, Special Forces attack. Oh, that's um, Sterling. More dockyards? I mean, that that's a good idea. Refitting speed, refitting cost, ship repair speed would also be nice. It'll take us a while to get down to that. What else do we need? Prepare for the inevitable. Oh, that's factory output and construction speed. Yeah, we need that. We are still very much in the industrialization period. It seems all but certain that our nation will be involved in yet another world conflict. Really? Considering we've been fighting for a year, we must increase our industrial expenditures to increase the rate of our rearmament. Is the next stream also going to be Heart of Iron 4? Um, don't know. We'll see. Depends how this one goes. <laughs> this civilian factory is just used for trading and building other stuff. Yes. Actually, Vichy France has not done anything. I wonder if they pulled their armies away. Yes, sir. You know what? Let's go on the offensive with my two divisions that are in the area. Off you go, Richard O'Connor. You valiantly held on to Suez. Despite nobody actually attacking you. Right, so air superiority mission efficiency, air wing mission efficiency, or interception mission efficiency. Superiority. I will even spend the points on it. That one's a pretty big one. training because you 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 and you are all done join the reserves and you guys are all refitting now good well you will be once I actually have some dockyards available for you losing convoys losing convoys not huge losses did my... Yes, sir. yes, the motorized have arrived. Huzzah! Uh, right, Jean de Montenac. Let's bring you... over here... with the mission of taking this. As soon as you arrive, you can go. Yes, that Montenac sir. should probably join the Africa Corps. Richard O'Connor is in the right place. He smashed the Italians in Libya in 1940. Well, I have a feeling he's about to... Well, yeah, he's not fighting Libya right now. Libya is falling rapidly to the French. I've done very little. Winter war is over already. That was quick. Still going. We're going to have a bunch more motorized soon. Which will be lovely. 
Bearing in mind that my motorized also have light tanks, so they're actually they they pack a bit of a punch. Not as much as the uh, French motorized. They're pretty good. Yorkshire factory should only make pudding. <laughs> Taking you 30 minutes to get through 1944 on max speed, send help. Yeah, the game I think does still slow down, unfortunately. There's a story about a report after one of those victories. An officer radioed in a report they'd captured five acres of officers and 200 acres of other ranks of Italians. Clearly counting the prisoners was a bit too much like hard work. I oh know, William Slim has been wounded. He was the one that I replaced O'Connor. This seems like a dangerous mission. Yes, sir. I oh know it was Alexander who was wounded, sorry. Uh, right, well, bring in Cunningham then, I guess. they're going to try and cut me off from behind here. That would be bad because that would leave you isolated. So let's bring in the motorized and hit you from behind. There are nice flat planes here. No longer get the effects of steady as she goes, so we are now fully democratic. As fully democratic as we're going to be. And now we're counter-attacking and the motorized are going to cut you off. Huzzah. Order. So if you go and assist and you just drive on through here. Wow, those submarines did a bit of damage there. Have we even started refitting yet? No. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. 4th of November will be the first one. I mean, the refits don't take that long. It's fine. Especially when I get more shipyards online. Italy lays claim to Greek territory, citing the Romu Rome the Roman M M M M citing the Roman Empire as a forerunner in the modern Italian state. Italy has claimed that the independent Greek state has no right to exist. Outrageous! Yugoslavia joined the Axis. No, they're still non-aligned. Which means Italy is actually going to struggle to get to Greece. It doesn't actually have that many troops either. Um, no, I don't really have the troops spare to send you. Ready to move. Depending on when these guys get trained and whether you've held out or not. Maybe. Alright, October 1940. Is there anything obvious in 1940 that I am missing? Yeah, a new battleship or a new cruiser. Let's get a new cruiser hull so I can get some more light cruisers going. Close air support. Haven't really been using them. Cut off. Destroyed. Yes, sir. And here come the motorized to really roll up their line. Okay, good. Finally, I have some freaking motorized in Africa. It took me a year. Considering that I've been building them since, like, the start of the game. Kind of annoying. Recovering from a 29 division loss at the start. It's not easy, but I'm doing it. Alright, new production. What do we want? Do we have any shortage or anything? We actually still have a shortage of light tanks. Let's continue building some more light tanks then. Am I still building? Yes, I am. So after that, I think I'm going to go and get some more fighters. Oh, wow, we've almost actually made up the deficit in fighters. 
Sweet. Give me another five factories of that, and then two more on tanks, and then that's going to be the seven new ones covered. Cool. Actually, speaking of which... Northern England can get some shipyards, and then Wales can get some shipyards. Oh, hold on. Their infrastructure's not done. I'll build that first, you fools. Otherwise, everything else is going to take longer. Right, new decisions. Um... Unless there are any other commanders that we want. Division attrition minus 8 would be good. Expert screens, attack and defense. So we're not really focusing on screen attack and defense though. Amphibious assault, genius. Division recovery rate, maybe. I'm not really seeing any of those being vital. So no, I'd say that we're free to use um, decisions. Am I planning on moving troops into Yugoslavia for Italy to close on them? I'd like to, but I don't think I can spare it. I don't think I can spare those troops. I think I might try and get the worker conditions. More stability is always nice. It's just straight up output. If Siam jumps into this, then we will be scrambling a bit. Ah, we cut them off. Good. In that case... We need to go and do that. Dempsey is still trying to fight for Benghazi. I'm taking a while about it. And you've taken the whole thing! O'Connor, you are an absolute boss. Alright, so Syria is mine. In which case, I'm going to say that these forces can reattach. Over there, O'Connor. Have a holiday. You've earned it. All these 100 plus viewer streams in a row is awesome. I'm planning to partner anytime soon. Probably not for three months. Because I did hint in their email that they're looking for partners who can maintain the milestones for three months. Still not very Orders. impressed with Twitch right now, I have to say. Why bother with milestones if you're not going to adhere to them? Twitch's problem has always been transparency and that hasn't changed. Oh, you don't have orders. Right, because your front's just split in half. South Africa has got some more units. Why are they multicolour? Don't know. GIF. GIF me units. 